Okay, this is the final uh, part of the groundwater flow system analysis. So this was our last uh, slide of uh, part two. And uh, well, we make use of the advantage of uh, a spreadsheet as a simple tool, a simple resource, and also the advantage of numerical methods to include uh, this kind of uh, heterogeneity. And let's continue with some other features here, uh, similar boundary conditions, no flow boundaries. You can have here any shape of a uh, no flow boundary. And here superimposed a uh, water table. And well, we can make use of the uh, spreadsheet just to follow the shape of the groundwater and to have a better figure, these are the flow net. And well, we can see this. Uh, okay, here is the spreadsheet. Okay, and you could see here that could follow well, the, the, the water table. And you have to take care to su superimpose these two uh, figures, these two spreadsheets and uh, you have to have pulse with the mouse. Okay, but let's continue. And let's um, follow some uh, of uh, what uh, Joseph thought got with uh, this uh, uh, flow system analysis, groundwater flow system analysis. Uh, well, again, you can find here local, intermediate, and uh, uh, regional uh, recharge, and this charge also. Uh, here some stagnation or quasi-stagnation zones, some areas where you can have accumulation of uh, matter or head. Also some other uh, uh, stagnation and convergent zones where you can find hydraulic traps. Also you can have here accumulation of matter and head. And well, above this accumulation, you can have mineral uh, 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 traces, metallic evaporite, hydrocarbon also. Well, here, uh, springs. These yellow springs is a warm, could be a saline spring since it followed a long flow uh, path. And this blue, well, a short flow path and could be a fresh, cold springs. Also interaction, interaction with the surface water, wetlands. And uh, well, you can have a riparian vegetation, which depends on groundwater. But it, it also could depend on surface uh, water. Some phreatophytes that are indicators of uh, this kind of uh, groundwater uh, are uh, uh, indicators of ecosystems. These some below that uh, surface water, the hyperrake zone that also plays uh, an important role in ecosystems. So here, what land and ecosystem, which depends on groundwater, well, also, uh, well, uh, some uh, recent uh, field also, the eco-hydrology and subterranean ecology. Well, again, here flowing water, flowing wells. And uh, also this kind of uh, system can play an important role for slope stability, liquefaction, soil erosion, soil heaving in geotechnics. Here also some ion exchange along the flow path. Uh, well, some anomalies, uh, temperature anomalies, and the redox potential mainly uh, near the well along the all the flow paths but you can find oxidizing oxidizing and reducing conditions 
And many other features, for example, here also decreasing uh, oxygen and CO2 along a flow path. So there is also a wide range of uh, features that can be explained by this uh, uh, flow system analysis. analysis. For example, as uh, uh, Joseph Todd also concluded is one of his statements that this uh, flow system concept has been recognized as a universal uh, geologic agent uh, at the basin scale. Also, the flow system analysis is a uh, uh, linkage between a broad range of groundwater relevant disciplines, just to mention a few of them, environmental protection, water resource, land uh, management and use, soil and groundwater salinization, amelioration also, mineral and petroleum exploration, geotechnics, geothermics, landscape architecture, remote sensing also, surface ecology, eco-hydrology, and many others. And just to finish, this uh, part. So let's bring again the original uh, Yotot figure and with the appropriate range in the spreadsheet and with the colors you can find the same figure. And if you invert these series, you got this figure. And this was uh, used uh, by uh, Alan Fries and John Cherry for uh, their book, their uh, book cover, the Groundwater book. Thank you very much.